Okay. Okay, I'll see if I can top that because my wild card is a sentence. <laughs> 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 and you know what's coming next. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what's coming. <laughs> so the sentence is on, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 Which, you know, to translate for anyone not from the west of Scotland means. Oh dear, not an on as well now, um, <laughs> roughly. <laughs> oh no, no an on and on is for me, you know, in terms of lexicology, linguistics, is as beautiful as cellar door, <laughs> which I, <laughs> I believe a famous linguist once once suggested was the the finest uh, form of the English language or the the greatest syllables put together. I, I would contest that with oh no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when you first heard it, Phil? I do, right. So this is this is I actually kind of want to get into this because <laughs> I remember uh so obviously one of our mates' dads, I believe, actually said, Oh yeah, I, was, I heard this guy saying it. And it's a pure it's a proper urban myth. Yeah, you know, yeah. Nobody said this. <laughs> everybody knows somebody whose da yeah. or uncle or somebody was at the game, and this old guy was sitting behind them, and shouted <laughs> it, <laughs> and it never yeah, happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, it's but somebody. Somebody said it for the first time somewhere. Somebody came some up with it, didn't they? Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's, it's just somebody down somewhere, and they thought, "I'm a genius." <laughs> <laughs> and they are, you know, and you know, fair play to them. Uh, but yeah, it, it's proper folklore stuff. Uh, it's just a, it's just a wonder of the English language. I think that that's created it. I'll give you a wee bit about Rico because Rico Anoni, I loved him when he was at Celtic. I'm sure you guys did as well. And obviously won the title in '98 as well. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So to ten. That. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I remember. Uh, so. I'd have been what fifteen something that when he signed fourteen fifteen, um, and I remember watching I think it was like Scotland Today or something. They have the the kind of news built the the sport bulletin at the end, and uh, it was like Celtic have signed this guy from Serie A, uh, from Roma, and they had so they're introducing it you know like new signing um, <laughs> you know new Italian signing for Celtic, and then they start showing this clip, and there's this like classy Italian winger like running down the line beating a couple of guys and you're thinking oh wow this guy looks good and then out of nowhere this bald headed lunatic just pure <laughs> flies in and halves him <laughs> like, oh right that guy <laughs> and that, that's Rico <laughs> so a bit of a cult hero at Celtic um, could have been my A probably as good as a gat to be honest <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's uh, that's my my nomination is oh no 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 no. no. <laughs> Similarly to Bertie Old actually, um, he was that he appeared in that UEFA Cup final for Torino um, before he signed for us. Yeah, that's uh, to be honest, I didn't yeah. actually know that about it, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, well I actually appeared in two because it was a two-legged game at that time. Um, no, if I'm talking rubbish, actually, he was suspended for the second leg. Um, <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. But Fair he played enough. in the first time, he beat off Ajax. Um, so mm, it's about okay. the same. But he played in the European Cup final. No, European UEFA Cup final. Yeah, just like Bertie Old, actually. You're going on here. 